After having found the market leaders, you write them on a piece of paper, you use them to, to get more information about your industry, you get into uh, the company and industry information databases. And I have a few listed here, and if you actually go to the section of the website of the library databases uh, with company and industry data, we actually have a few more that are listed here. Like For example, the doing business I was mentioning is the World Bank um, uh, listing of countries and it gives you like the economic conditions and, and regulation red tape and that kind of stuff. Um, what do we have here? The first one on the handout is Mergent. Okay, and, the, and, and Mergent's an interesting, an interesting system. Let me pull it up here. There we go. Now, the way Mergent works, you get two things in Mergent. The first thing you get is you get publicly traded companies. And what Mergent does is that it sucks in all of the financial information from the publicly traded companies and they provide with additional information. They try to systematize that information in their database and you can create custom queries, like custom lists. Let's say you want all of the airlines with you know, not more than five, uh, five billion dollars in revenue but more than 500 million around the world and you want to get certain segments of their annual report, their financials, well you can generate this list through Mergent. So that's the first set of information in Mergent. The second set of information in Mergent is privately held companies. And you get a very basic high level information, kind of what you get in Dun & Bradstreet. Actually, it's, it's the Dun & Bradstreet data that was pulled into Mergent. So you get both, okay? So you could do, go here and do a specific company search by ticker or by company name. So let's say I'm interested in Google. I click here on Google. And I, I know here uh, it's industry code, right? It's actually a little bit more precise than what I showed you in the Nike's code. I see that they have 32,000 employees, over 32,000 employees. And by the way, this is how you do it for your presentations. If you want just a quick figure like that, you go to Mergent and you could say, and then when you do your PowerPoint slide with like the names of the companies and number of employees and sales and that kind of stuff, you put at the bottom of your, of your PowerPoint slide, source, Mergent online. So if you want to get some quick quick numbers about a company, Mergent, and notice here all of the options, right? Uh, highlights, history, uh, ownership, right? So this gives you summary information about the company and because Google is publicly traded, Mergent was able to get their financials, upload them in their database and boom, off you go. So here if you click on reports, you have their filings. Right? Of course, they're, they're publicly available on the American um, uh, system, which is Edgar. That's the, uh, uh, the, tr the system where uh, all, all of the companies post their financials. And the Canadian one is called Cedar. So if you go, it's listed on the, on the information page that the, on the library website. So you could get the actual filings from there as well. But you get the idea, right? So let's say I want to find Google's competitors, right? I take the industry code. Right? I'm going to copy that, control C. I'm going to go back to the search. And this time, I'm going to say, I want Google's competitors. And I'm going to say, primary NIAX is that the same as Google. Or I could go in and find my own industry code via the industry classification system, whatever. Right? Or I could search by country, by exchange. I can do many different things. But let me just put that in and hit search and show you what happens. So one, the system returns after I, I do the search with the 214 companies that have this as their primary industry code, their primary NIACS. And notice here I have a lot of public companies, right? I have different countries listed here. I have some inactive and active, right? So I may want to go to the advanced search and I may want to filter those out, right? Let's look. We also get private companies. Right, which are not publicly traded. So obviously, I wouldn't get financials for those for those companies. So in this case, they're all public, which is fine. That's awesome. So what I could do is I could select all by clicking here on the all, and I can use this drop-down box and merge it from the top left-hand corner, and add all companies to my basket of information, right? So I add all companies to my basket and notice here under my Mergent tools, if I click on the little plus, I have 214 companies in my basket, right? Um, and if I click on that, 
this gives you the data reporting tool that I was mentioning earlier. So here I have my 214 companies that are all public. public. Some of them are inactive, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just giving you an example. You can filter them out. If I select them all, then I could say I want the uh, different types of information. Let's say I want to have pricing information on their stock or I want some financials. So I could create this custom list of 214 companies with these different financials, export it to Excel, and then I can run uh, and create my own little graphs and analysis, right? And I mean, I'm not going to show it to you, but this is just to highlight that Mergent, because this is a system that we actually pay for and is, uh, is value added because it has this backend databases that allows you all these different options, you could do this kind of uh, analysis. So from one company, get their industry code, get all companies in that industry, and then export some bits of their uh, financials or whatever else information that's contained in this Mergent system and actually uh, report on it and, and use it in your papers and presentations. Market leaders, you sort it by a number of employees and then boom, you got your top 10 internet service provider companies in, in the world. There you go. Um, also in this system, if you go back to uh, some companies will have uh, uh, market reports. So if you go here to reports, make sure you try to click on merchant reports because sometimes you actually get different different reports for this company, right? So you may want to you may want to check to see if there's any kind of other reports in this system. And you click on that and this actually uh, gives you kind of a spit out of what's in the system in PDF format. I'm going to stop it so because I don't want to wait for the, for the re re reply back from the system. The other thing that you may want to check out is to see under reports. Yes, you have the annual reports, but you may want to check out the industry reports if there is one. There's not always an industry report for, the, for all of the companies in here, but it's worth a shot to click on industry reports and see if there's anything interesting. So in, in the case of Google, there's, there's not an industry report, but they could have been. So sometimes it's, it's a good idea just to check this, okay? So that's Mergent, great for publicly traded companies, big major corporations around the world. And please do lo log out of Mergent because we only have a, a certain number of simultaneous users. So please do log out. And if you, tr if you try to get into Mergent and it gives you a timeout error, or some kind of too many users on the system, well then try try again in 15, 20 minutes because somebody's too many people are using it at the same time. And that happens for business databases. Because they're very expensive, we can only afford a certain number of, of uh, simultaneous users.